What up, Freeware fans? Jonathan and Eric here, and today we are going to talk about black versus camo, and does it actually make a difference? What are you talking about? Of course it does. Mm. We'll find out. A huge misconception, in my opinion, with the freediving community across the board is that you have to have a camo wetsuit to shoot any fish, right? It is a must. Well, I think really what we need to look at here is if you've shot a fish and haven't posted it on Instagram in camo, have you shot the fish? <laughs> All right, so we really want to dive into the idea that having a black wetsuit versus having a camo wetsuit is more for your Instagram following than it is for the fish that you're hunting, right? Um, a lot of people have this stigma that you have to have the coolest, newest, awesomest camo pattern to be able to actually hunt any certain species of fish. And in my opinion, the reality of that is just not true. It's not true. I've shot just as much fish, or just just as many fish, Close enough. in a hot pink shorty wetsuit. It's like hot pink and teal mm. and Is neon yellow, uh, back zip back shorty zip. wetsuit, okay. surfing suit, as I have in any camo, whatever you want to put it up against anything. Yeah, and you shot the fish. I've shot them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so what we want to kind of educate you guys on, in our opinion, is that the, uh, the black versus the camo does not really make that big of a difference, but what makes a huge difference is your mindset on the dive and as you're kind of hunting or stalking your fish, right? Yeah. So if you're in a black suit, you may not feel camouflage, so therefore you may not act camouflaged. And then you put on your newest fancy cool camo and all of a sudden you feel like you're a super ninja on the bottom of the ocean and you start acting like one. And all of a sudden the fish get closer. So therefore the camo must be the reason as to why you've shot more fish or got closer to certain species. Sort of a placebo effect. It's absolutely <laughs> by definition a placebo effect. In my opinion, you are not gonna notice the difference between a black or a camo suit. Now, what again will make the difference is how you present yourself to the fish or species that you're hunting, right? So going to the bottom and sitting and waiting and not having this like, I'm gonna kill you attitude makes a huge difference, right? When you go to the bottom and you sit on the bottom and you start relaxing and you start actually enjoying the dive for the relaxing aspect, it is amazing what kind of fish show up and just decide, hey, this guy seems like a good idea, and then all of a sudden you pull the trigger and shoot them. <laughs> um, but uh, well, you know, and so like many people. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> so many people talk about how much more they see when they have a camera in their hand, mm. and it's not because they change wetsuits. It's because their aura, if you will, is completely different when they have a camera because they're not looking to go slay something, right? So if you can pass that mentality while you have a spear gun in your hands and you can just kind of calm yourself down, the fish can sense that. They know when there's a threat. And there's don't no, be a threat. No camo is gonna hide that. No camo is gonna hide that. <laughs> um, and it, a lot of it comes down to as well, fish are not super reliant on their eyesight to correct. like determine what's happening in their environment. One of the biggest thing, and the fish generally have what's called a lateral line on them. Mm -hmm. That lateral line is built to detect vibrations, um, and in some cases, electrical signal as well, yeah. um, or electrical output. Um, but the biggest thing there is vibration. And if you're moving in the water, fish know you're there. No matter what kind of cool camo you have, they know you're there. Doesn't matter how little or how much you're moving, just moving your hand is enough that fish can f sense that. Mm -hmm. um, so. The next thing I was gonna say as far as camo goes is one comparison that I, I like from one of the other guys that works here, Rodman, he has always said that wearing a, a camo wetsuit is great. Camo definitely works, it helps blend in, mm -hmm. but it's like wearing, putting a ghillie suit on and running through the forest. Right. Everything in the forest is gonna see you running looking like Sasquatch in a freaking <laughs> ghillie suit. 
But if you're sat in a bush laying still, mm -hmm. yeah, you're gonna blend in. Right. It's the same thing. Our dive style in this part of the world is generally more of an aguado technique where you're actively bush, pursuing yeah. fish. Um, so if you're swimming across the reef or across the surface, everything knows you're there. It doesn't yeah. matter what color your camo is, what pattern, everything knows you're there. Absolutely. So if you're moving, they know. You, they know. Yeah. And to, on that line of movement and talking about the fish's lateral line, there are some cases to where movement is a good thing. Now, I'm not talking about like aggressive flailing on the bottom, mm. but when you get to the bottom and then you have a little... <laughs> you don't get to the bottom. <laughs> no. Where's the fish? Generally, <laughs> generally not. But if you can get to the bottom and do something to attract the fish or species that you're hunting, right? Uh, maybe scratching the bottom or even like taking a little bit of loose coral that's on the bottom and rubbing them together, right? Uh, everyone's generally heard the trick where you toss sand up in the air. Uh, the funny thing about this trick is that I've seen guys like take a huge mound and like toss it like 15 feet in the air. <laughs> and the Swim halfway back up with it, <laughs> <Yeah>. drop it. <laughs> the idea is not to get the fish's attention by sheer ridiculousness. The idea is to imitate that you are a fish, you're a species that they've never encountered before. So maybe just patting the bottom and creating a little bit of a cloud is enough to get them interested on hey what are you doing is there a food source there that i can go you know get as well but throwing a clump of sand in the middle of the ocean doesn't really do you any good because there's no other animal that i know of at least that does that that yeah. chucks a you know five gallon thing of sand you know <laughs> 10 feet up in the water column it's just not practical and they're going to look at you going hey, what the heck is this thing doing right so you got to think from their perspective if you wouldn't see them do it, why would you do it, right? Think like a fish. <laughs> Think like a fish. But at the end of the day, wear what you like. And it's all about those Instagram that's, likes. That's really what, it, <laughs> what it's about. And it, maybe not just Instagram, but I mean, if you throw a camo wetsuit on and it makes you feel good, wear the camo. I wear camo suits. I mix and match tops and bottoms, mm -hmm. wear different colors. I try, we've got these cool new orange camo suits mm -hmm. in the shop now. I like the weird stuff, man. The red Torelli suits, the universe, Torelli universe, yeah. all that stuff. That's the kind of patterns I like. I like yeah. the weird stuff that's not necessarily a camo pattern. It's just it looks just cool. looks cool. Yeah. Um, so wear what you like. Do what makes you happy. Cool. Don't wear the camo because you want to be cool and like think that you're gonna shoot more fish. Just wear it because you like it. Yeah. The last safety tip that I want to touch on before we close up this video is. Think about what is your dive buddy going to be looking at when you're on the bottom, right? So if you're in this awesome blue camo and you're going to be diving at 60 feet or 40 feet and the visibility isn't great, if you don't have anything for your dive buddy to see you, then they're not going to know where to be when you start and hit the surface. So on our blue camo pattern, for instance, we have our name on the back that's in big, bold, white letters, right? And that was super intentional because now this cool camo lets you blend in, but your dive buddy can see these white letters so that you actually are able to have a good safety when you hit the surface. So very important to uh, think about those things. You can also pick uh, your weight belt color, the weights that you wear, mask super strap. mask strap. Mask yeah. strap. Um, super bright colors. So be thinking about those things, <clears throat> consciously choose the equipment that uh, is gonna let your dive buddy know where you're at. Uh, while you're on the bottom. That's going to be a wrap for this episode. Thank you for tuning in and checking this one out. Um, comparing black versus camo wetsuits. Hot topic. Absolutely. <laughs> so hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think makes a difference, right? Is it black that lets you, lets you shoot more fish or is it camo? Have you heard any other different opinions or thoughts? Let's uh, hear what you guys think down in the comments below and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll see you. Thank you so much for watching our video guys. If you guys did find good value in this content, please make sure you subscribe and check out our other videos, especially this one right here. It's one of my favorites.